So we studied using the present continuous and be going to to talk about future plans. So what is the difference? Well, usually there is very little difference. The present continuous emphasizes the present effect of the future event. It also emphasizes that the plan is fixed. This means that it's very, very sure to happen. Be going to simply emphasizes this is my plan. So it, it just emphasizes the intention, okay? And also it means that I made this plan in the past. Let's look at some examples. The first example is we are getting married next spring. So in this sentence, we've used the present continuous. So we're getting married. The first focus is, okay, this is a very, very sure plan. Okay, the second focus is, well, yes, we're getting married next spring, but right now there is a big effect of this, of our marriage. So maybe right now we are uh, talking about who to invite to the wedding, uh, or maybe we are, you know, my wife is choosing a, a, a dress, uh, or maybe we're looking for flowers. So there is a present effect, a present reality of this future event. The next example, I'm going to ask her to marry me. I'm going to ask her to marry me. This is just my plan. I made this in the past, but this is just my plan. Okay, last example, he is definitely coming tonight. So don't make salad. He hates salad. So present continuous, he's definitely coming. This is very, very, very sure. But also, right now, don't make salad because he hates salad. So that is the difference between present continuous and be going to for talking about your plans. Now let's talk about timetabled events. A timetable is like a, like a schedule. Now sometimes we want to talk about future events that happen and, and, and these events are based on a schedule or a timetable. And we can't change these events because again, they are based on a schedule. When you do this, we, we use the present simple to talk about these future things. Okay, first example, we fly there tomorrow. We fly there tomorrow. Why am I using present simple? Because the flight is based on a schedule. I can't change the time. So we fly there tomorrow. My ticket says tomorrow. Okay, this evening, the bus comes at 6.03 p.m. This is a bus schedule. I can't change this. So we use the present simple. The train, a lot, excuse me, the train arrives late at night. This is based on a schedule. And finally, uh, tomorrow, perhaps, class finishes at 12.05. We can't change this. This is based on a schedule. Now, remember, we've, we've talked about uh, using uh, present simple with time words, okay? Or also with the word if. Now, this part of the sentence is called a subordinate clause, okay? This gives the time information, or this gives the condition, if. The other part of the sentence, we usually use will, okay? This is more called the main clause. So we use the present simple with subordinate clauses. Let's look, look at some examples. Now, in the first example here, I am going to say the main clause first. So usually the main clause we use will. He will get angry. And the next part, the subordinate clause, we use the present simple. He will get angry if you do that. Okay, another example, you will definitely get the job. Now unless, unless presents a condition, very similar to if, we use the present simple. You will definitely get the job unless you don't want it. And finally, 
as soon as you get home. Now here the subordinate clause is first, so present simple is in the first part. As soon as you get home, give me a call. Okay, so in this video, we've talked about the difference between be going to and the present continuous. And we also talked about using present simple for time, uh, timetabled events, scheduled events in the future, and also for in subordinate clauses. If you'd like to practice this more, click on the link in the video.